Happy Wednesday part two. We're going over to the movies to check out Creed. For those that don't know, Creed is in the family of Rocky movies. Rocky being one of my favorite franchises of all time. Now I'm sure I'll be um, excommunicated by the nerd culture here by saying, I think I would probably choose the Rocky movies over the Indiana Jones franchise um, just for the meaning that Rocky has um, in my life growing up watching the original movies um, along with my family. So the Rocky was a big thing um, within um, my household growing up, especially with my older brother. And I've been to see every movie since then in the movie theaters. So it'll be interesting to me, for those unaware, um, Creed is the son of Apollo Creed. Um, and storyline basis that I understand so far is that he seeks out Rocky Balboa to train him to become a fighter. Now, avid Rocky fans may remember that um, in the story's history as, as sequels were being made, they made a movie with Tommy Morrison where Rocky was um, kind of ignoring his kid and treating Tommy Morrison as like, kind of like the son that he always wanted um, to box um, and uh, then got lured away by the greedy promoter, kind of like the Don King type person. Um, I think it was during that time period that the, the rumor always was that uh, Rocky would retire eventually and his son would become kind of the next generation to take on the mantle. And to me, without seeing a single frame of this new movie, that's kind of the gist of what I'm getting out of um, the trailer is that um, the franchise and the spirit of the movies can live on with Apollo Creed's son as the new character to take um, over for the next generation. So I think the movies are always kind of very similar. Um, you know, you have the internal struggle and the drama and then eventually the fight. Hopefully, you know, the the the, um, the hero wins in the end. Um, but we'll see what we think when we get back out of the movie theater. I dropped all the popcorn on the floor, so now it's super greasy, and I made that mess. All of that, not eaten, just dropped. Alright, we just went to go see this. Not the band. Michael Jordan, not the basketball player either. And Sylvester Stallone. Still the actual Sylvester Stallone. Yes. Did you like it? Yes, I did. Let's see. I'm going to start this off with the Mary scale because I don't want to get into too much detail and <laughs> take up Mary's time. Uh, four and a half because there was some little stupid part that annoyed the crap out of me. Okay. Four and a half on the Mary scale? Yes. All right. It was, it was good. And Jessie's standing all the way across the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want to stand in front of the sign, but we'll get her thoughts in a second. So the rest of our review will take place in our super comfy new couch. <laughs> the new cheap seat headquarters. <laughs> we didn't get Jesse's opinion on the movie, so we're going to get her input. As somebody who is not uh, well ingrained into the movie, she saw Rocky Balboa in the theaters with us. Uh, probably doesn't remember much of it. And um, I remember Raw Eggs. Yeah, the, well, she remembers seeing a lot of the other movies, um, you know, that uh, more of a cursory knowledge because I've watched them so often and she's seen parts of them at least. Mm -hmm. So, um, in any event, what'd you think? I cried. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Tears of happiness? Mm -hmm. Or sadness? I just cried multiple times. So was it a good movie? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what would you give this movie out of five stars? Five. Five out of five? And Mommy thought that she was rating it. Like, Mommy's eyes are red because she was crying too. Oh, yeah. I didn't cry. My eyes aren't that red. No, let's get a close up. <laughs> this is extreme close up. <laughs> so wow, five out of five, and four and a half out of five from from Mary. So I was wondering about um, Jesse because she's obviously younger, and after talking to folks like um, Drew from Orlando United and other folks that are a, a little bit younger, they didn't have the experience growing up with the other Rocky movies, as well as like I think. What's happened now with franchises and films is that they've reinvented themselves and they have, uh, you know, either new films that come out and the folks kind of gravitate towards and they're like, well, this is like, this is phenomenal because they didn't experience the original. And I'm not saying that this is uh, something to compare to the original, but it's really hard not to. Of course. 
course. <laughs> so, <laughs> are you crying my now? Nose. You're crying now? I said I was itching my nose. Yeah. So, um, things that, you know, what my opinion of Rocky, uh, Rocky, what my opinion of, of Creed is, yes, um, out of five stars, I think I would probably give this movie a four out of five stars. Yes, I think sir. that's that's being that's being fair. Um, you know, I went in thinking, you know, I wonder how they could redo this so that um, it's kind of not a, a complete retread of um, the first Rocky movie and um, yet still um, kind of reinvigorate the franchise to, to have it maybe start over again because of people that are in, I think, the younger generation. Yeah. So, no! So there's a lot to like about this movie. Um, Michael Jordan is a phenomenal... Um, oh, actor. He's he, incredible. You know, Sylvester Stallone is kind of the same on point. And one of the things that I was worried about is that uh, we've already seen the story of, you know, can you train me, Rocky? Can you make me uh, be this the, the the next guy? Can you come out of retirement and you retire of people living in your shadows? And that was basically Rocky Five and Rocky Balboa. Mm -hmm. And you know, we see a lot of that in this movie. And I'm not going to give spoilers out here, um, but you, just you know, did. no, no, that's not a, a spoiler. But um, what you also see in this movie, if you are a fan of the series, um, there are more than subtle nods and some things that I think some folks might not grasp um, as um, complete tributes to some of the stuff that happened earlier in the series. Um, you know, so there's a, there's a host of things that are very obvious and um, you'll pick up on them. And then there's some things that, to me, I kind of got a smile out of, um, you know, and so um, I cut the, the thing because I didn't want to give um, spoilers out. But um, there's a couple of mild, not so big spoilery things here. And what I'll do is do this again and put the thing up and tell you when the spoilers end if you guys don't want to hear it. But a couple of things that I think that jumped out at me um, as far as, um, you know, things that were cool to see is when you see um, kind of the, the Michael Jordan character. Um, you know, Creed running down uh, the the block, and Mary did not like the imagery for today, but I think it fits with today's yeah. um, youth, oh. is that, you know, you have folks that are kind of like Rough Riders, you know, on the, mm -hmm. their 4x4s um, four or, or four-wheelers and motorbikes and stuff, whereas Rocky had kids running with him, and then, you know, kind of the thing that made me happy was, um, you know, where the priest was in the... Um, in the initial movies, throwing down the blessing, is kind of like Rocky in that position. So. Yeah, I thought that was really nice because I do remember that. Yeah. You know, but I thought the bikes were just stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. So she didn't like that part. No. All right, so babe, spoilers <laughs> over. So a um, couple things. The story is very heartwarming. Obviously, it uh, you know it brought them to tears again, and I think that's the trademark of the the Rocky series. Um, you know, you do get boxing in the movie. The The movie felt, to me, like it was hours and hours long. I thought it was never going to end at some point. Not to me. So, at one point it was like... Mm. You know, and I don't know what the time run on it is, but I think it felt like two and a half hours or something. But, but then we went in it? and came out, but something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta check. So, but in any event, it felt long to me. Um, but there's three fight sequences in the movie and there was something that jumped out at me during the, the fight sequences so um, the first one that you go through um, it, it's kind of a, a basic you know boxing type um, of shot the second one to me um, where the sun the movie really shined was that it did something unique um, and I, I don't know if other folks picked up on it but it was kind of like one long continuous shot. So it was a single camera that continually focused around the action in the ring and there was no edits where um, in a later fight and kind of historically in boxing movies you see kind of like the pan out to the reaction in the crowd, to the people watching on TV or to the, to the people in the corner. The second fight in the movie is really worthwhile seeing again and if I um, you know, get the movie on Blu-ray I'll be interested to go back and watch that scene over again and specifically to try to see how they were able to film what they filmed. That was the fighter in the um, boxing uh, um, practice place? Right? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Okay. So, 
That was, it was, it, I thought that was marvelous, marvelously marvelous. <laughs> done. I can't get the, the words out, but I was, uh, it's marvelous. It's marvelous. <laughs> yeah, that was really impressive. The fighting at the end, the last sequence was really impressive. Um, there was a little too much, I thought, like callback to, um, to, to Rocky One. But I said it was produced by Rocky. Yeah. Yeah. I think that what they probably should do in the movie, in, in all honesty, is kind of say, inspired by the original film because it's almost like a retelling almost of the rocky story it's yeah. not it's not step for step mm -mm. but i think it's certainly something that like if you were reading a book and somebody was to take components of that book and build it into a film they would say you know it's story or events inspired by somebody oh yeah i'd also yeah. like with the girls it's different yeah because rocky died but then the girl didn't the rocky's girl died oh his wife well, that was later on. Yeah, that was but much later. That's still. Well, that's not Rocky One, though. I but... didn't say it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, Jesse impressing us with Rocky history and trivia. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, in any event, um, you know, there's obviously a gigantic movie coming out in December that folks are waiting for, um, and we uh, are waiting for it anxiously. I have a also. Shirt on. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but in the meantime, Thanksgiving weekend and the, the the weeks leading up, I think this movie could be really huge in the box office. It was not very full when we went to go see it tonight, mm -hmm. um, but I think maybe folks are getting ready for Thanksgiving tomorrow. But if you have time over the holiday break, or I would say leading up to uh, Christmas, and you need to take a break to see something, I would highly recommend going to see this movie. Yeah, I, it was a take a couple of napkins and tissues with you. I thoroughly <laughs> enjoyed it, as did everybody. Oh yeah. So, and I know we're going to sign off for now. Thank you for all of your likes. Thank you for your comments. Your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Bye. Have a Have great night. night. Bye. <laughs>